Real Talk with Tracy. Holla. Hey guys. Um, so this week, obviously, you guys have already been seeing, I've been posting about self-empowerment. Um, so a lot of um, the topics I think that I chose or cho are choosing, they're all intertwined. Um, so last night we, or last week we talked about depression and um, with that comes like confidence building and those types of things to, to make yourself feel good. Um, and this is no different. So self-empowerment, uh, it blends into a lot of different topics. So um, yeah, so I thought it would be interesting to just kind of break it down and then and then give you a, an inside view on, on what I view as um, my personal power, self-empowerment and my little journey that I've gone on recently. Um, so first, I, I just want to quickly read um, this, um, par this short paragraph that I got off of the internet, but it sums up a lot. And um, I thought I would uh, quickly read it for you guys and then we'll chat about it. So anyway, self-empowerment is about taking control of your life. This is, involves developing self-trust and self-awareness as you need to set um, the right goals for yourself. And it helps you make um, sound decisions and understand your strengths and weaknesses so that you can strive to thrive. So with that, like I think, um, you know, taking control of your own life. I mean, it sounds like... I don't know, it sounds both. It sounds so foreign to me, yet it sounds so scary, yet it sounds so simple. So for me, um, I guess the, the situation which I'll talk about is the um, me like ending a relationship and moving on to, you know, life as single again and all those things. And so when I was in the relationship, um, making the decision to exit the relationship, it, it took a long time. And I think a lot of that came from I had lost my self-empowerment. I didn't necessarily trust in, in, in my gut and I didn't trust in myself to make the right decision or I, I had so much worry and doubt that it overshowered any of the positive, confident decision making that I was making at one time. Um, so it, it, it definitely was a journey and um, getting to the point where I, you know, made that decision, um, you know, it took me some time. Like, um, you know, as anybody ending a relationship, it takes time, right? So, um, but I had to go through a lot of the different steps, right? Which would be building my self-confidence, believing in my decision-making, believing in that my future I had the control over, or, and is, I mean, those are all huge, huge um, obstacles to overcome. So uh, sometimes it's easy to just take the bull by the horn and jump in, but I'm definitely one of those people that um, I sit and I dwell and I think and I dwell and I, you know, and sometimes it's not a good place to be because it takes a lot longer to get where you're going. However, once I get there, I'm there, right? So, um, you know, making that decision, I had to then trust that my decision was the right decision and make steps to get where I wanted to go. So I knew that I, you know, the relationship wasn't going where I wanted to go. And, um, you know, my all my fear yates were jumping in there being like, well, you can't do this on your own. You can't have a house on your own. You've never rented it. You've never had a house on your own. You've never all these things like coming at me like left, right, left, right, left, right. Well, I, you know, I had to trust my gut. I had to get back into believing in me that I was, you know, a strong, independent woman that I, you know, been there, done that before. And the, the scenario looks a little different, but the ultimate, you know, independence piece, I had been there before and I survived it and I was okay. And, you know, my daughter survived and, and we'll do it together again. Right. So, um, so I had to kind of put those negative thoughts aside and then take baby steps. Um, you know, the first was like trying to get the, uh, you know, the house in my name, like, you know, so, but there was like different places I had to go and people to contact and, you know, all those things. And so, um, as much as it was a, it was a grand scale thing, it was, you know, setting those small little steps and goals that, um, are achievable. And as I achieve them, the more confident you grow. Right. So, um, yeah, I definitely, you know, baby steps and I'm still forever, um, going through situations of self-empowerment. Um, in the winter, I've always said that my self-empowerment was, um, learning how to use a snowblower. I'd never snowblowed a driveway before. I didn't know how to turn it on. <laughs> right. So it's just, I mean, I am woman, hear me roar. And I've said that before on this page, but, um, those are feelings of, um, self-confidence and self-empowerment and all those things and the more things that you do to build that the stronger you will become and the more you will believe in yourself and that is key is believing in our decisions in in our gut 
and in in the you know the universe is going to provide what we give that we'll get back right those are all like empowering moments um so growing up i have three older brothers and so and not that it was ever gender roles it just fell into place this way so i never had to when i was a kid i never cut the grass i never barbecued i never really helped it in the garage like i just the, the boys did that i did more of the inside stuff and no fault of raising i don't mean it like that but um, I, I didn't ever, I don't know how to use a barbecue. I legit, it was in every relationship I've been, the man has always done the barbecuing. And so for me this summer, that is my goal is to learn how to feel confident, to turn on the barbecue and cook a meal. And maybe I'll only do it once cause maybe I won't like it, but you know what? I'm going to put myself out there and I'm going to believe that I can do it. And I'm going to set small goals and achieve, right? And I'm going to rely on a couple friends to show me the way and, and um, you know, um, knowledge is power, right? So once I know how to do it, I'm going to feel confident in it, right? So it's that believing in yourself and your decisions and your gut and, um, you know, being that your own self-empowerment, right? Like you're the destination of your future. And if you want something more than what you're, you have, then go get it. Reach for the stars, right? Like it's, it's in everybody's grasp to get what they want and to live the life they want. And, um, you know, I hope for you that you are on your, your path and if you're not exactly where you want to be, that you're working towards where you want to be, um, I think as humans, we're forever evolving and that changes, right? You know, what our goal, our end goal wants to look like today might be different from a year from now, right? So we're obviously always um, developing more, but um, my dream for everybody is to be confident in themselves and to be believing that they are worthy of whatever they want in life and to get there, it's baby steps, it's um, believing in yourself. So what do you do for self-empowerment? Tell me, what is it, what is a goal or something that you've accomplished that you, you know, that negative Nancy in your head was like all like, Ugh, but you're like, you know what? I can do this. I got this. Tell me, what is it? What was that for you? All right, guys, that's my little, um, talk with Tracy today and we will, uh, find another topic next week. See you next week. Bye guys.